Hey, what is up guys? Jeremy here and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to enable third-party keyboards within iOS 8 and now this is a really cool new feature which Apple is allowing us to do now and uh, you can basically download these third-party keyboards from the App Store. Now there's only one that I'm aware of right now and that is called Swift Key and I will leave the iTunes uh, link down in the description. Be sure to use that because there's also like Swift Key Notes or something like that. That's not the right application. It's the one that looks just like this. I believe the name of it is Swift Key Keyboard. Uh, so what you're going to do is just go ahead and use that link down below. Download the application onto your device. And then you can go ahead and open up the app. And it's going to give you kind of like a little beginning tutorial. Uh, just go through that until you get to the screen, which looks like this. Now we can go ahead and exit out of the application. Go into Settings here if I can click it. And you're going to want to go down to General. Go ahead and scroll down until you get to the keyboard. And then we're going to go ahead into the keyboards and add a new keyboard. Now, as you guys can see, there is the section for third party keyboards right there. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just select on Swift Key and it is added to our keyboards. Now, another thing that I like to do before I exit out of settings is go ahead and click on Edit and then drag that Swift Key keyboard uh, up to the top and go ahead and click Done. That way, when you open up your Messages app, uh, it's going to open up the Swift Key keyboard by default. So now we can go ahead and exit out of settings, open up our messages, and there is your beautiful new third party uh, keyboard, the Swift Key keyboard, which is actually a really cool keyboard. This allows you to uh, do swiping to spell out words. I'm not actually going to try and spell anything right here, but as you guys can see, that's uh, basically what you're going to use this keyboard for. It's really quite cool. And that's really all there is to it, guys. That's how you enable a third-party keyboard within iOS 8. Uh, you can also, you know, scroll through the different keyboards by clicking the little globe there. There's the Apple keyboard and there's the Emoji keyboard, and we're back to the Swift key just like so. So if this tutorial helped you guys out, uh, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That really helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more iOS 8 tutorials like this, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.